Good morning, boys and girls. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving break. Uh, everyone had a great time off, but now it's time to get back to school and learning. And I'm so excited you're back. We miss you when you're not here in the building. Today is Monday, November 30th, and we have a couple things we're going to be doing today. First of all, we're going to have a book talk by Miss Richards. And the second thing we're going to be doing today is Miss Solace is going to be concluding uh, Native American History Month, and she's going to be talking to us about Native American History Month. So we have two special things to learn today. So I hope you enjoy today's morning meeting. Hello, friends. It's Miss Salas here again. So we're all back from fall break. I hope you guys had a nice, restful time. And I do want to point out that today is the last day of November. And so that means that it is the last day of Native American Heritage Month. And to close out this special month, we are going to watch a video that is going to show you all about Native American heritage, culture, heritage and culture. All right, here we go. Do you know who the first people to live in America were? People think it was Christopher Columbus and his crew. Others think it was European settlers or people that came to live here from Europe. But it was actually the Native Americans. Native means they were born in America, though it wasn't called America at the time. This was long before it became the United States. They were here much earlier than Columbus. When Columbus discovered America and its people, he named the people Indians because he thought he was in India. You may have heard other people call them Indians too. The correct term for how we refer to them is Native Americans. The Native Americans lived in both North and South America, including Alaska and Hawaii. There were different tribes and cultures who lived in different parts of the country. A tribe usually consisted of families or communities that spoke the same language and had common beliefs. They also shared the same customs or traditions. Some well-known tribes include the Cherokee, Apache, Cheyenne, Iroquois, the Ute Nation, and Navajo Nation. There were many other tribes as well. Each tribe has its own type of home, foods they ate, tools, clothing, and more. The tribes are no different than people across the world today who have their own cultures and customs. Native Americans designed their homes according to the weather and area where they lived. A teepee was built using long poles for the frame or structure. The teepees could easily be taken down and put back up again, making it the perfect house for people who moved a lot. A wigwam was about 8 to 10 feet tall. Like the teepee, it was also made from wooden frames. A longhouse was a permanent home. Unlike the teepee, it was not moved from place to place. It was built from wood and bark in the shape of a rectangle. Holes were created in the roof to allow air to escape. There were doors on both ends of the house, similar to many houses today. Tall poles from trees were curved and then used to create the roof. Pueblo was a home built right into the side of a cliff, which is why it was also called a cliff dwelling. These homes were built of bricks made from clay. They sometimes were built inside of caves. Some pueblos were four or five stories high. Materials used to build homes depend on where the tribes lived and what was available to use. The clothing that the Native Americans wore were also different from tribe to tribe. If an area where Native Americans lived was warm like Arizona, then less clothing was worn because of the heat. In contrast, if it was a cold area like Alaska, Clothing was layered for warmth. Plants and cotton were also used for clothing. Native Americans used the resources around them, like plants, bark, and roots to create dye. They used the dyes to color their clothing, baskets, mats, and other items. Many tribes hunted buffalo or caribou for food, as well as deer and rabbits. Fishing was widely used to provide food for villages that were close to rivers or streams. Farming was important to many of the tribes, especially in warmer climates. Main crops included corn, beans, and squash. Native Americans still live throughout the United States today.
Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Richards. Today I'm going to show you an ebook, an electronic book that can be found on our Mac and Via website. You can get to Mac and Via by going to the school's website, or if you are logged in on your Google account, you can just go to your bookmarks to get to Mac and Via. Don't forget when you go to Mac and Via, you log in with your Google ID and your full email address. The book I'm sharing today is called We Are Grateful by Tracy Sorrell, illustrated by Franny Lessa. This book is about how the Cherokee people show being thankful all year round, not just at Thanksgiving or the winter holiday time. I also really like how this book shows how to pronounce Cherokee words. You can see at the bottom of this page that the word for we are grateful is Ojali Heliga. Ojali Heliga. And you can see how to pronounce the word. I found that very helpful. I also like the illustrations and all of the bright colors that show the different seasons. My favorite part of the book is in the winter time when everyone gathers with their entire large families and share meals and play music and feed the animals. It sounds a lot like what I do during the holidays. So that was very familiar to me. So if you are interested in reading We Are Grateful, you can find that on Mac and Via. And it is a read-along. The great thing about this read-along is the author and some of her friends do the reading. So it's an excellent story to listen to for everyone. I hope you enjoyed my book talk. Have a great day. Are you all ready to dance? Yeah. All right, go.